Gone are the days when Jira Cloud was a slightly out of date version of Jira Server. Cloud's grown up a lot in the past year and has left home to forge its own way in the world, so we thought we'd compile the top 5 differences server users will encounter when switching platforms. In no particular order, here they are. The first thing you'll likely ask when opening up Cloud is, what happened to my menus? In Cloud, the top ribbon has been completely replaced with a couple of sidebars. It looks totally different at first, but when you dig a little deeper, you see that things aren't totally unfamiliar here. The sidebar is split into permanent and contextual sections, and hitting the Jira logo will reset to the options you're familiar with from Server. If you then go ahead and collapse the sidebar, it really starts to resemble Server's ribbon, just sideways. You have dashboards, projects, and issues buttons, and you can create issues with the plus sign. Two notable differences are the start and search buttons, which are great ways to get to recent issues or projects. And you won't see a boards button in Cloud. Why? Great question. And that brings us to number two, boards. Jira Cloud is far more project-centered than server. In Cloud, you won't generally find a board that isn't based in a project, or a project without a board for that matter. The two go hand in hand. Server is more board-focused, and over there, you'll often find teams working on boards that pull issues from multiple projects. That's a pretty major difference in philosophy, but Cloud users can still get a server-like experience by creating personal boards. Hit start, go to view all boards, then create a board using a filter and locate it in your personal profile. And voila, you have a board that can pull issues from multiple projects. Okay, we can't go any further without addressing the elephant in the room. Jira Cloud includes a new kind of project altogether, next gen. And this marks another big philosophical difference between Cloud and Server. Cloud is designed to be used without dedicated admins, and next-gen projects are the key. In Cloud, any user can create a next-gen Kanban or next-gen Scrum project, and when they do, they automatically become the project's administrator. Admin functions are simplified and user-friendly, and next-gen projects are isolated, so changing settings won't break your Jira instance. Next-gen projects change the Jira experience so much, they could almost be considered an entirely new version. There's no doubt about it, permission settings in Jira Server can get complicated. But with regular users handling permissions in Cloud's next-gen projects, things had to be streamlined. And so they were. You have just three basic access options for a next-gen project. Open, which gives everyone access. Limited, which means anyone can see the project, but only added users can edit it. Or private, which means only added users can even see the project. Adding users is simple too, and these settings apply to only one next-gen project so project admin duties can be shared across the user base without fear of interference. So, you've logged into Cloud, created your first Kanban project, and want to get started. But there's no backlog. Cloud's next-gen projects are like budget airlines. They start out as streamlined as possible, and you have to add any extras you need. Head to the Project Settings tab, hit Features, and you'll see a set of sliders that can be toggled on or off. Thankfully, unlike budget airlines, these features are free. Toggle the backlog slider, and you're good to go. You'll also notice that you then have the option to turn on sprints and reports too, effectively turning your Kanban project into a Scrum project at the flick of a switch. Well, three switches, but who's counting? That's it for this video, but check out the links in the description for more on Jira Cloud, or head to the Adaptivist website for info on our training courses.